Hey, what's up guys? Long time no see. I haven't created a YouTube video in quite a while. So in this video, I thought it would be cool if I could show you kind of what I've been working on. I've been building a project called Wave, which is a software as a service starter kit built on Laravel and Voyager. So if you've ever wanted to create a software as a service and you want to save yourself some time without having to recreate things like billing, user profile, user settings, invoices, and a bunch of other things that are required to create a software as a service, you'll definitely want to check out Wave. Okay, so let's go through a quick demo and I'll kind of show you just what's available right now with the Wave project. So as you can see, once you install Wave, you will have a basic landing page in front of you and you can then configure all the stuff on the page. So you can also add features, testimonials, and separate pricing for your software as a service. And once we log in, we can go ahead and log in with an account and you can also register for an account. And if you would like your user to be able to sign up for a free account or only an account after they've paid, then you will have that option in the admin as well. Okay, so here we have our dashboard. And once the user logs in, this is going to be their dashboard and this is fully configurable. So based on the theme that you're using, you can configure this dashboard to have analytics or whatever it is that your software as a service does. This will be the main dashboard for your application. And then we have these menus up here, resources and support. So there will also be a support functionality built directly into Wave. And then you also have your notifications. And we also have the user profile over here. So you can hover over the user icon and you can go to the admin since I am logged in as an admin, but normal users will not see that. We can also visit the settings. And if I go here, we can update our profile picture. We can update our profile information. And then we can also update our password, notifications, and our billing information. And all of this stuff inside of the dashboard is gonna be fully configurable. So let's say, for instance, this navigation up here. So if we go to our dashboard, and this is built on Voyager, it does have a slightly new look and feel to it. Um, I kind of just changed up some of the UI, but we can go down here to the menu builder. And then if I go to the dashboard, you can see that we have all these items right here. So I could add a new item if I wanted to. We can just call this forums and we can set the URL for that. And I can use an icon. Let me use an icon from Voyager. And I think I will use the heart icon. So let's use that one. Let's click on update. And now we should have this new forums link in our nav. So if we then go back to the dashboard, you can see now that we have the forums link and it's actually not using the icon and that's correct. I need to specify an icon for the theme. So the icons that we're actually using for this is the get UI kit. If I looked up get UI kit and I go to the documentation, I can check out the icons that are available here. Let's go ahead and use one of these icons right here. So this, this will do fine here. So let me swap out that icon, going back to the admin and then going back to the menu builder. And I will edit this and let me add the comments icon right there. And now if we were to visit the dashboard, we should see that icon. Okay, now we see the icon right there. So you can see that this is fully configurable. So you can configure the navigation, uh, all the views for your application, and then inside of your admin, you'll be able to add, we're even gonna have posts and pages. Uh, you can also then add your billing information. So if you want it to work with Stripe or PayPal, and then we also have themes. So right now there's just one theme, which is the UI kit theme, and we will have more themes. So we're gonna have the UI kit, we're gonna have Bootstrap, and I'll probably also have a Tailwind CSS theme. So these are just themes that you can use to customize your application or your software as a service, however you would like. And you can start off with UI kit bootstrap or Tailwind CSS. So if I click on the options for this theme, you can see that we can upload the logo, we can upload all the text, and we can upload even the promo image. So the homepage and the themes are going to be fully customizable. So this is gonna be really cool because you will then be able to create your software as a service starting off with whichever theme that you would like and you can then fully customize it and it's just gonna save you so much time. So that is a quick demo of the Wave project. 
and I'll post more videos later on down the road showing you different pieces of functionality. But in this quick video, I just wanted to show you a quick demo of the Wave project, and I hope you're excited about possibly using this to build your next software as a service. It's going to save you so much development time, and it's going to be a lot of fun to use and to play with.